we were super excited to see the data emerging from the mass spectrometer in almost real time. Uh, and it was this that we clearly were showing we're, we're dealing with a mammoth that had moved a great deal during its entire lifespan. It was like watching a, a lifetime movement and life history appear before our eyes, uh, kind of like a TV series. And uh, we were also very surprised by a sharp increase in nitrogen isotopes dur during the last wintry conditions of its life, which had all the hallmarks of indicating nutritional stress and starvation. And the last year of life also saw the mammoth reduce its movement to an area around the location that eventually died above the Arctic Circle. This work is important because it contributes to the jigsaw puzzle of information that helps us better understand why mammoths and some other megafauna went extinct after the last ice age. For instance, it would have been very hard for mammoths to maintain this level of mobility following the significant environmental changes that, that occurred after the last ice age. The work also um, is important as it shines light on our concerns that we have for existing animals that exist in the Arctic today and how they might ad have to adapt their behavior, ranges and movement in responses to the unprecedented changes we are seeing in the Arctic today and all heard about in the recent IPCC uh, report. <laughs>